It is supposed to be another Saturday morning in our country, Nigeria, but it turns out to be one Saturday to remember in the history of Nigeria's democracy and electioneering. GYB, 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 GYB. On that day, Millions of youths across the country made a huge statement on their steadfast support for the candidacy of Governor Yaya Bello of Kogi State in the 2023 presidential election. It was a simultaneous gathering of massive crowds of youths in over 23 states across the six geopolitical zones of the Federation in a show of force tagged nationwide capacity rally for Yaya Bello. Participants chanted solidarity songs while carrying various placards in support of Bello from as early as 9 a.m. in all the locations. The youth see this election season as payback time for one of them, who has carried them along in key areas of his administration, rescued them from the streets, and actualized their own ending tomorrow in the form of a better today. who said they had mobilized over 16 million active holders of permanent voters' cards to actualize a Yaya Bello presidency come 2023, said the nationwide capacity rally was to demonstrate that they meant business and will go all out for their own in the forthcoming elections. We have all the support of all the parties, say what? For those who are going around sharing money, they are doing that at their own. What's more? The national coordinator of the groups under the umbrella of Rescue Nigeria Mission, Abdullah Ishwai Budamat, who was present at the Federal Capital Territory Rally, said the youths were already thinking beyond the primary elections of the major parties in their quest for Yahya Bello as President of Nigeria after President Muhammad Buhari. We have all the support of all the parties, say what? For those who are going around sharing money, they are doing that at their own risk. All Nigerian youth have shown clearly this, this event is happening across the entire system of the Federation, so you stand a better chance to win the primaries, whatever, at whatever cost. So it is not for nothing that the name and person of Governor Yaya Adoza Bello has become synonymous with youth and women inclusion. It is on record that this nationwide simultaneous capacity rally is the first of its kind in Nigeria, organized selflessly by a youth population determined to seize their destinies in their own hands. Nigeria! 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 
Surely it is the hearing and saying of all the good works that seems to be convincing a rising tide of youth across the country to put not just their numbers behind the man, but also the confidence that it will deliver the goods as president given the chance. From Ibadan, the Oyo state capital, to Oka in Anambra state, and Uyo, the seat of the south-south state of Akwaibom, their voice is resounding, and they all have only one name on their lips, Yahaya Adoza Belu. GYB! 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 For this recycling, the same note of recycling of power. Recycling of power. All these our heroes, our leaders have been government for the past 20 to 30 to 40 years now. And they are still what? They are still repeating class. They were the one who told us that all of the over is busy class. But today they are still repeating class. Yabelo has the charisma. Yabelo has the power to rule. Just go to Koji State and go and see what is happening. He supervises, he monitors all his activities he gives in Koji State. Do you My name is Rhoda Yoisa. I'm from Zone A. I'm covering the whole of Zone A. Women and youth are for Yahya Bello. Yes. If you come to Zone B, we have women and youth in for Yahya Bello. We had a beautiful road work today. It was so exciting. Yahya Bello is the most credible candidate for the presidential uh, ticket for yeah. Nigeria. Yes. Everyone, every woman in Nigeria, every woman in Benue, vote for Yaya Benlo. And all the Nigerian youth are here for Yaya Benlo. Yaya Benlo is the only youth that we are going to vote against 2023. I'm not going back. And the numbers remain impressive as we go from state to state. It's not only the youth of Nigeria that are lining up behind Governor Bailey. No weather is going to rain on their parade, the women of Nigeria. Over 700 groups from the length and breadth of the country come to Akure, the Ondo State capital, to add heart and voice to a demand for greater participation in governance and pledge their support for the man who could very well meet that demand. I'm here personally today because of the good things I saw in Yaya Bello. The work that he's doing speaks very well for him. He's the only governor in Nigeria that have our women interests. 
So, at this junction, we market women, I'm talking seriously about my market women, that we are solidly behind Yaya Belo. Yaya Belo is giving women a platform. Like in the history of Nigeria, we've never heard that a woman is a DG of a campaign of a presidential team. That's a, a big one. And when you look at what he's doing in Kogi State, all I want is somebody who will give women a, a, a platform to exhibit all our visions. Because we have a lot to do to push this country forward than where it is now. Proud and confident Nigerian women from various professions and trades also make their presence felt and declare their support loud and clear in the Federal Capital Territory for Yaya Belu, who they have described as a hero of women inclusion in Nigeria. We are here present at Abuja. We are trying to advocate for over 35% inclusion of women in governance. And right now, we know that in this country, there is only one governor who has done that so far. Women, where are you? Are we going to stay by the coal pot all our lives? We don't want to be there. We want to do something. We want to do greater things in life. And if we are not given the chance, how can we know how great we are? So we are advocating for women in Nigeria to support women to get to high places. And like uh, people say, they say behind every successful man, there is a woman. So behind every successful woman too, there must be a man. And a man like that that I've, I've heard of in this country is only Governor Yaya Belo. And in the southeast, Umahia, the Abia state capital, is the place to be. He's the only governor, in fact, he's the only man that has proven that women should not be pushed aside. He has carried women along, and someone like that, we should support him. Just like, um, just like the Bible, the good deeds of Dorcas made the women to stand by him. They stood by him. So when it was time for afflictions and all that, the women came out and said, no, God, you see this one? This one is untouchable. He is the only man that has the troubles of women at heart. He carries women along. So why won't we support him? There are some positions that they don't give women. But Yahya Bello is one person that gives women opportunity to excel. I want him to replicate all the achievements he has had at state level, at federal. Women have so much to contribute and this is a man who all his heads of service since he has been in office for six years have been women. His current um, sec state SSG, Secretary of the State Government, is a woman. The women and youth of Nigeria refuse to be ignored, and they cannot be ignored. They are in their millions and are becoming aware of what must be done to rescue the future of a nation that hangs in the balance. Put in the care of someone who champions their causes and offers hope. Come 2023, the champion they want is Yahaya Adoza Bailu.